In this video, we're going to talk about trunk calls to WebEx calling. When an inbound call arrives into WebEx calling, the originating trunk is identified using the OTG tag. Now I'll show you where this tag is located. Now the OGT tag is inserted into the from of header or by your local gateway. Now that uh, on screen caller identity that becomes the on screen caller identity of the call is used to determine the type of call. So basically this OTG tag that is included in your from header will be kind of used to determine if this is an on net call or a PSTN call. When an inbound call from a local gateway requests a, a privacy it will insert it will assert an identity carry in the p asserted identifier header or pai now the pai header is selected as a on as the on screen calling line identity if the header is present if no privacy is requested or the privacy is requested but there is no pai header present then the present presentation identity carried from the from header will be selected as a caller id now, if the dual line, dual, dual identity support is enabled on the particular trunk, then the received from header and the PAI headers are treated independently, and both are kept for further processing. Now, with the dual identity support being turned off, only one received identity is kept for further processing with the PAI header taking the precedence. So if the dual identity support is turned off for a particular trunk, but the trunk is receiving a call with a from header, which is your OTG tag, and the PAI header, then in that case, only one of them will be used and the PAI header will be the preference one. WebEx calling screening service use set of selective criteria to perform a different a differently depending on the result of the screen. For example, call forwarding selective can be used to forward an incoming call to a specific destination when the calling address matches the calling address criteria specified by the user. In the case of inbound call from on premix PVX such as call manager to a user, Users screening service require the calling number to be E.164 format. The screening service should not specify the premise ESN or unknown extension as a calling party credit criteria. So if you take a look at your uh, location, sorry, not location, if we go to call routing, 